Now it's time to revisit Moss Park Bowling Club, ten months after Danny McIntyre was expelled in a storm of controversy. It's a beautiful morning, and an important one for Moss Park. Margaret, the Ents convener, prepares for the year's finals, where Moss Park meets Finiston. Well, it's a big day for the club today, you know, because uh, we're defending our title against Finiston. A wee bit of a problem there, because uh, Danny McIntyre, that plays for Finiston, and our man, Pete McCutcheon, they don't really see eye to eye, you know, bit of bad blood there. Anyway, I'm not bothered about that, because I've got lunches to prepare here and get sorted out, because uh, a regular chef's off with a uh, bad bout of Bell's palsy, you know, so we've got a new boy in. Oh, that's a bloody good advert, that, smoking out of the bloody sausage rolls. Why well, you cook the lot yourself, darling? <laughs> oh, Charmin! What's the colour of his horns? <laughs> in the boardroom, Moss Park plan their match strategy. Hey, okay, now listen, boys, listen, listen. Sammy, you need to keep your eye out for that Bobby Kelly. He's your danger man. Oh, no, here now, no, you don't have to worry about him. No, he took a stroke about four months ago. He's not got the grip anymore. No, he couldn't snap a wet fag now, no. <laughs> Mate, the only problem I see for you is Danny. He's hot to bring you down. Now, you see, listen, Danny's a panic merchant. Seem to go down to the wire, right? His bottle will crash. No. Danny, he's a prick. Meanwhile, in the kitchen. That's 24 for the fish and 24 for the beef, right? <laughs> Jeez, that fish looks iffy. Right, that. Who's chef in here? Yes. Hello, Mike. Tension is high as Finiston arrive. Hi. Fanny. Household. Look at this place, eh? What a bloody toilet, eh, lads? Ah, it's a damn sight better than that bloody shithole of clubhouse you've got in Finnison. Yeah, <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Why don't you have some peas there? I've got my peas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see your aim's just as good as I was, was eh? Right. Hey! Mags is on hand to act as peacemaker. Hey, that's enough, OK? Keep your shagging fine throughout the shagging green. You're not having this in my clubhouse, bastards. It's late in the game. The final could go either way. Suddenly, and without warning. Oh, keep that fish! <laughs> Food poisoner. It's all right. Well, I'll be all right. I had the beef. <laughs> I mean, you that's them down a couple of good players now, you know. McCutcheon have the fish. I don't know. Oh, I'm just, I'm just uh, telling him I, I took the beef. I, I didn't have the fish. I had a wee fork for a huge fish, right enough. But, but that, that, that was all, you see. I'm a wee bit, you know. But I, I, I think I'll be all right. You know? In fact, there's, there's you there. <laughs> With players now falling ill, the game is becoming a farce. Come on, you! Hurry up, for Christ's sake! Pete and Danny reach the final. <laughs> Danny! Ah, you're up against it now, my kitchen, eh? <laughs> and it's Pete's last ball. The trophy rests on it. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> And for Ferriston, Danny McIntyre. Next week on Cheers, The Bulls, mate. Danny receives his trophy from Pete. There you go. Mags <laughs> discovers she's to be a grandmother for the eighth time. What? Again? You're like rabbits used to. 
and Danny arranges the catering for Pete's 60th birthday party. Thank <laughs> you.